is an AP Calculus free response sample question that I somebody handed over to me and I presented this on a test and let's see how you'd actually do this problem. We're given that x squared y plus y squared is equal to 2x and we're asked to find dy dx. I want to remind you that on the uh, AP Calc exam they are not they are not going to give you they're not going to tell you to find it implicitly they're going to um, assume that you can do that yourself so this is what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to take this and I'm actually just going to say that I am going to take ddx of this thing and that's going to translate to ddx of x squared y plus ddx of y squared plus oops sorry is equal to ddx of 2x some of this stuff I think we might know certainly we know that ddx of 2x is just 2 isn't it this is the power uh, sorry this is the chain rule so I'm gonna take the derivative of the outside piece so it would look like this wouldn't it I'm gonna call this the outside piece right here and the derivative of this outside piece would be 2 something to the first power wouldn't it so right I'm just doing that and that is 2y isn't it times the derivative of the inside and what's the derivative of y but dy dx right which leaves us with this piece right here which is a tiny bit more daunting and it's a power rule problem isn't it so I'm sorry product rule so I'm gonna apply the product rule here so I'm gonna take the product rule and I'm gonna say here that f of x let f of x equal this x squared is equal to x squared and that f prime at x is equal to 2x isn't it and that g of x right is this piece over here so is equal to y and this is where it gets kind of interesting because the first derivative of y of course is dy dx right and then I'm just gonna put all this stuff together so just trying to save some room I'm gonna put all this stuff together here which is gonna give me x squared right product rule is f of x times g prime at x so times dy dx right plus g of x which is y times 2x so if we have y times 2x it's 2xy isn't it 2xy right plus this part where this is the derivative of this piece right here and this is the derivative of 2x so from here I'm gonna move all everything that has dy dx I'm gonna leave on one side I'm gonna move everything else to the other side so what I'm gonna do if you don't mind is I'm gonna subtract this from both sides so I subtract from both sides it ends up here negative 2xy isn't it and then from here I'm gonna factor out see this is let's take a look at this for a second this is dy dx here isn't it and this has a dy dx doesn't it so I'm gonna factor out dy dx and we get dy dx times right times x squared plus 2y right is equal to this 2 minus 2xy right so that piece is just there isn't it so I think we finally have the derivative here and the derivative here is right from here I'm just going to divide both sides by this thing right here right and we get this so for a if we if we divide both sides by this we get dy dx is equal to this 2 minus 2x 2 minus 2xy over right over this piece right here this x squared plus 2y right and that's our dy dx so there's that first part there's that first part so there's answer a so have that done and it says here find the points on the graph where there is a horizontal tangent well a horizontal tangent would mean that we have the functions doing something I don't know what is doing but we have a horizontal tangent and the question and a horizontal tangent would be a line with a slope of zero so what we want to know is when does that thing right here when does this equal zero so that thing equals zero when x and y are both one doesn't it so that's at the point one one I hope that makes really good sense to you because that's really what we're doing here it says here horizontal remember if we have like f of x over g of x if we have 0 over g of x that's equal to 0 isn't it 
So we have to make sure that the numerator is equal to zero, but not the denominator. And we did this math, and if x was one and y was one, we'd have one times one is one, times negative two is negative two, and two minus two is zero, right? But it, it would not make the bottom equal zero, would it? Okay, so that's the horizontal. So that's part B. The question is, find the pointer points. So the point is, B is the point. One, one, right? To do the next part, what we want to know is, when is this thing, when is the bottom equal to zero, right? C, we, right, it says find the vertical. If it's vertical, the, the function has to be undefined, right? It has to be undefined, right? It's like asymptotic behavior here. So that's what we do here is we take this and we'd ask ourselves the question, when is x squared plus when is x squared plus 2y equal to 0? And if you look, if they were both equal to 0, if x is 0 and this is 0, we'd have 0. So we have the point 0, 0, right? Because if you put 0 here and a 0 here, we get 0 at the bottom, undefined. So we have at the point 0, 0. So the point 0, 0. And then look, let's see if there's another one. And I think that there is. I think if this was equal to negative 2, negative 2, negative 2 squared is 4, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, 4 minus 4 is 0, so we also get at the point and negative 2, negative 2. All right, look, this is not easy. This can be done, though, and what, have remember a couple of things here. Um, one is that when we're asked to do implicit differentiation, they're not going to tell us to differentiate implicitly. They're just going to say, find dy dx, and we're going to have to recognize. So we're going to have to be able to recognize that we're being asked to differentiate implicitly. Second, when we want horizontal tangents, if, if the derivative is rational, then we set the numerator to zero and make sure that the denominator doesn't go to zero also and solve for this case, right? When is f of x equal to zero and then solve, right? When we're asked for a vertical tangent, we're asked for a vertical line, which is undefined, isn't it? So we want to know when is g of x equal to 0. And we want to make sure that f of x is not 0 at the same time, and we tested that. So, okay, good work. If you have questions or comments, please let me know, and if there's something I can do better, let me know about that. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. Thanks for the support.